Can you imagine revealing Leroy at Evo Japan? It's honestly one of the most gangster moves ever from Namco. Hey, how's the volumes, everybody? I, I think I fixed the weird audio issues that I've been having. How's the music and the voice? What do you think? I cannot believe they revealed Leroy at Evo Japan. I mean, either it's Namco's trademark out of touchness, or it's Namco's just uh, trademark spite for the fans. They suck on this. You're still gonna buy it. You know the first joke? The music is a bit low. All right, that's good. I'm fine with the music being a bit low. The first joke that I thought of when I saw, I woke up like just a couple of minutes ago and the reveals were a couple of minutes old, right? First joke that came into my head when I saw Oscar and Leroy at Evo Japan was two characters, one reveal. <laughs> <laughs> and I've thought of a bunch of jokes since then, but I think that might be the best one. <laughs> that was just what came into my heart. Two characters, one reveal. <laughs> Why don't you just get up on the stage and show everybody uh, two girls, one cup, dude? It would be easier to watch. Tits Bunga and the character that ruined Tekken 7 permanently for everybody? Alright, cool reveal. Cool reveal. You don't get it? Well, that's because you're uh, too young, uh, Beal and Snake. One of these days you'll uh, find your way to a place called the internet and you'll see all kinds of things to ruin your um, innocence. But for now, remain an innocent little Josie player and don't think about the dark stuff. And quiet in the chat when adults are talking. <laughs> hey, do you guys want to play uh, Lars? I do. He sucks. He's trash. But I think he's going to be uh, low tier, but not as trash in uh, the next game. And you know, uh, I happen to specialize in characters that are bad, but maybe not completely useless trash. That's kind of my thing. Let's have red pants. I got him to Tekken King easy. Uh, and then uh, my save data got bugged and I got back to Ryujin um, because I tried to remove the... This is weird, right? I tried to because I had to install the Diablo 4 beta, right? And I didn't have enough disk space. So I'm like, what can I do? And it said on an internet forum, if you remove all the movies that are in Tekken uh, 7, and you know that I hate movies in Tekken anyway, like multi throws and rage shards, you can save like 35 gigs of space. So I'm like, cool, I'll try and do that. So for the first time ever, I went into my save files when I tried to remove some stuff. It turns out I messed up my ranks. Uh, so it was weird. My game started save scumming by itself. So I would rank up Lars, I got him to Tekken King, turn the game off, turn it back on, and I was back to Ryujin. So I got him back to Tekken King, turned the game off and I was back to Ryujin. So the game was like automatically save scumming. Maybe I've accidentally invented some sort of secret save scumming master technique that the cheaters would love to have. But then I uh, realized what the problem was and I fixed it. So this time when we get uh, uh, rank, we're gonna be able to keep it. Isn't that great? Oscar looks cute. Yeah, whatever dude. Bob looks cuter. Oh, that's not a real punish. Wake up, frame. Still too early in the morning to be playing against a Dragonov. Big Lars combo. New tactics. Ball bounce. And then spaghetti the combo. Classic frame. Awesome wall bounce, spaghetti the combo. Classic frame. It's gonna be a good stream. Hey, nice. I got uh, trigger happy. You can't be trigger happy against Dragonov because he's way better than Lars. One of his defining features. Oh, 
Oh no! Don't rage drive. Easy, so easy. Break the throw. Round three. Fight. Okay, so he walks after that every time. It's good to know. See, he always walks. You can't get counter hit by that at this rank. Not even at this rank. Always walks, okay. So now it's just down two spam, which is how you actually play this character. You get free TGO. <clears throat> so uh, now he's dangerous. Now that he's just abusing the broken win button, <clears throat> he's very dangerous. Stomp shouldn't get that. <laughs> Alright. Can't believe you messed that up, dude. Can't believe you messed that up. Hey, good games. Oscar is so cute. Hey, you guys are like hype about the Oscar reveal? What the hell is wrong with you guys? Files read only. Hey, Johnny Harp, that's exactly it. <clears throat> that's exactly what I had accidentally done. Bob, Miguel, yeah. Bob and Miguel, that's all we want. There's so many characters they have to show before Bob and Miguel. Yoshi, Brian, uh, Hua Rong, maybe a Capo, probably uh, Lily now that we have Oscar. So uh, we're going to have to wait. But we're waiting for something good. There's a Swedish saying, the one who waits for something good can never wait too long. It's a very Swedish way of looking at things. I don't not sure I agree. Hey, nice broken combo. I hope uh, down two isn't in the next game. Dragonov will be in, so let's just hope they remove his low. Because it's the best move in the game ever. Hey, damn, who's being generous twice? Hey, that's, uh, good. So down two into sidewalk is basically, uh, unbeatable, right? Is there anything I can do? Because it forces crouch, so I can never do anything, right? It just wins Tekken forever. Can get lucky with a bad rage drive, I can do that. <clears throat> Down two and uh, walk uh, left is completely broken, huh? That's bullshit. Nothing I could do. Oh, I was gonna do um, armor move. The worst armor move in the game, by the way. Lars is so trash. Nice parry. Get launched. <clears throat> Round four. Fight. Hey, that's nice. That's nice. That was a reaction. <laughs> what a dumb exchange from both of us. Nice block, nice block. I don't want to play against a Dragonov anymore. I kind of hate this. <clears throat> oh, always the wrong punish. I wonder why I'm doing that. Probably because Miguel. I'm trying to do while standing one for Miguel. That's it. Broken, shouldn't get a stomp. Best low in the game, shouldn't exist. Shouldn't force crouch, that would fix it, basically. Oh, that could have been it. 
Couldn't get a stomp still. Alright, <clears> that's <throat> unplayable because of Dragonov's down too. Hey, good games though. Bet this guy is really good when he plays uh, real characters. Hey, who's being generous? Let's go. Miscellaneous Cam. Where are you on the TA Doomer scale? Mm, I don't know. I uh, think the game looks cool. Um, but, okay, put it this way. My main problem with Tekken has been for like a long time that the balance is bad and that there's blatant character design favoritism from the developers and from the community. And it looks like all of that will get much worse in the new game. We don't know that for a fact, but based on the indications we have, it looks very likely because we know for a fact that Mishima's officially get no execution free electrics for the entire round. The first and only apology or uh, excuse for that that I've seen from Mishima boys is that, what do you mean it's only when you're in heat? But you only need to watch a little bit of gameplay to realize that you will always be in heat if you want to. If you're a Mishima player, you're going to activate heat, probably with heat burst because it's safe. You slam them down, doesn't matter if it hits or not. And then, <clears throat> as long as you're attacking, you have it for the rest of the round. It stays around forever. I mean, it just completely pauses when you're being comboed as well. You're going to have heat for the entire round. If you don't spend it on heat dashes or heat uh, smashes... Hey, not good shit, not coming up with confusing names, by the way, Namco. Then you will just have it. It just stays there forever. I mean, a lot of Tekken rounds don't even take 10 seconds to end. You can do a 5-second Tekken round. Um, so, uh, they have no execution, right? Uh, there are a couple of those things showing up already. So, yeah, there will be, like, blatant design favoritism in the new game as well. And that has me a little bit worried because it's Tekken most, like, chronically pathetic problem. But apart from that, it looks cool. We also haven't seen any cool characters except for Lars yet. Hey, what's up, Roy Samuel Clark? I'm doing great, dude. Let's play against uh, Jin, the best character in the game. Except for Akuma, but he doesn't count because he's not a character. They do an electric. That counts. You think Ford 4 is still gonna ruin the game by existing in 8? I think so. Unless they just give him something better. Did you see his new low? His new Devil Paw low? It's so crazy. Alright. Lars got one uh, pretty solid buff that we know of, by the way. They made th uh, this move. Ford Ford 3. They changed the input. It's um, 3 plus 4 now. Which means that it's... Uh, 58 trillion times better and he might actually have a mid that's something yeah but i think it's like pretty much the the uh, duty of every tekken player in the world to just constantly make fun of mishima players now because uh they've been getting away with the dumb characters they're playing for like decades because they've been able to make the excuse that the characters are hard which they haven't really been uh depending on who you ask maybe they have been but what we're going to have right now is zero execution Mishimas. So game-endingly powerful move that you can do whenever you want to by just pressing a button, right? It's insane. Let me throw you, dude. It's fun. Trust me. Nice balanced whiff recovery on Jin right here. Nice. <clears throat> Imagine if Lars had that move. Completely different character. Completely different character if he had that move. Imagine if he had this combo. That's death, right? Yeah. Jin's balanced. Final round. <clears throat> Fight. 
not gonna combo, right? Oh, it did. That's good. Or not. Actual and see below launcher there. Jin's house sweep. All right, <sighs> whatever, dude. You lose. On hey, thanks for subscribing, Naki Tibbs Jin. Just block Devil's Electric, bro. It's only a miss. A nice, uh, nice uh, shit talking uh, right there and writing stuff. Better luck next time. <laughs> You should try maining Kazuya now that he'll be easy. Hey, what do you think I am? Some sort of turncoat? <laughs> I just abandon everything I stand for as soon as uh, the wind blows a different direction? No, dude. Does the four counter at launch? No, 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 Roy Samuel Clark. It doesn't. It should. It would be perfectly balanced. It's 2 1 4, by the way. Not 1 2 4. It's counter hit natural, though. Like that, which is pretty good. And it's big damage. It's a 27 damage move. All right, so let's talk about how Lars will be better in the new game. He will be slightly better, but not a lot better. But I'll take slightly better. See this move here? So the thing with, uh, if you look at Jin, if you look at Bob, if you look at some much better characters, um, they have like a mid that they can throw out of a dash from like uh, this range that they can check opponents with. And it's like safe on block and you can just do it until it hits. Uh, Bob's Lariat is like that. So with this move from Lars, it theoretically should fill the same niche. But it's just kind of slow and very linear. It is minus 8 though. So what they've done is, they've changed the input on this move from forward forward 3 plus 4 to, uh, no, forward forward 3 to just 3 plus 4. And if it's fast enough that you can actually hit with it, I want them to increase the impact speed a little bit. I think it would be fine at 16. Call me crazy. I'll take 17, um, then it will be Lars's probably best heat engager, because they made that a heat, heat engager in Tekken 8, so when that hits, it boom, zooms forward. Then what do you want from Kazuya? I want electrics to be weaker than they are now, or more difficult to do. Um, definitely. I want his, um, while standing, launcher to not be 13 frames. Way too fast. I want a lot of things. A free electrics? Nah. That ain't it, chief. Hey, check it out, it's a gone Ryu. Let's beat his ass. He loves that launcher. Is that a high? The um, while standing launcher from Gonry, is it a high? If it's a high, I can win this because he abuses that launcher all the time, so I can just duck. <laughs> Alright, and that's his other thing. So he does that thing, it's like 2, 4, and then he does the while standing launcher, and that's the only thing he, he knows how to do. Okay, that's good to know. Wow, you guys are being like super generous. What's going on? Chill with the generosity. I'm trying to beat a Gonry here. There we go. Oh my god! Gifted memberships? Hey, Trepsco, I think that might be the first time anybody's ever done that for me. That's insane. Thank you. Wait. Hey, let me beat this guy's ass. Let's uh, thank you properly. There you go, that's for you, dude. That's for you. Check out the Lars. Oh, look at the veins. The veins are so disgusting. They need to fix the veins. The main buff I need for Lars. Hey, Trepsko, that's great. And congratulations to BLN Snake, um, who doesn't know about uh, two characters, one reveal. Daniel Nee, OB, Maloki175, and Fathead. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm going to add you guys to the, the thing, the page. 
You're a Kazuya main? Hey, it's okay, you can hang out here anyway, but... I mean, if you are a Kazuya main, the, the Kazuya mains that I will respect after this change with the free electrics are the ones that say now that they don't want it. Um, and not just say that they don't want it, they actually don't want it, and they might actually play the character less or like it less because he has it now. I won't demand that they drop the character, but that would be preferable, honestly. If, you're, if your reason for loving Kazuya was the challenge as you perceive it, and that challenge no longer exists, then what are you doing? Um, yeah, the, um, the uh, free electrics is, is too funny, dude. And I've had a bunch of comments on my videos already from Mishima players saying, man, I really um, don't want um, these free electrics. Because those, some of these guys have spent like a long time learning electrics, right? And it's been like a thing. They're like, hey, uh, I'm one of the cool guys, as I perceive it. Actually, it's lame, but uh, I know how to do electrics, right? And now everybody can do electrics. My grandma can do electrics in second eight. Press the button. Let's go. Hey, it's a cool Lars mirror. Let's go. Do down back four, please. I think he's hit confirming that, which is pretty cool. Oh, I guess this is how you play Lars. You should try it, huh? <laughs> Still got him. <clears throat> Still got him. Rage drive. Ah, okay, that's why they do the wild standing too, because it floats like uh, hop kicks and stuff. Got it. Hey, nice. I should do that as well. I should just go into stance more. Just randomly. That was a clutch armor move right there. 7,000 wins? Damn, this guy's a wizard. You guys could have told me it was a wizard. Uksam. Uksam. Man, what a sick stream so far. We're playing the only character that's going to be cool in Tekken 8, even though he sucks in this game, hanging out, getting generous donations, talking shit about Mishimas. This is like my ideal stream. <laughs> hey, two characters, one reveal. Bruce isn't dead lol. Damn, this guy knows about the lore. Hey, Trey the Sensei. Trey the Sensei? That's a pretty cool name, Trey the Sensei. I like that. That's a good name. Not a fan of the new Jack, I am. So that's the second cool character. There's Lars and Jack. Everybody else is just like the obvious Tekken characters that I don't care about. Thinking about that Armor King? You thinking that Armor King will be in the new game? Mm, I think it's very likely because Armor King is so popular. I mean, he's the most popular DLC character. Uh, I don't know if he's the most sold DLC character, but he's the most played DLC character. And because Namco love making money, um, I think uh, it would be... Um, um, you know... Uh, something they'd be interested in. 
I think uh, you should reveal uh, Armor King alongside King. Maybe they don't want King to be overshadowed because Armor King is like more popular than King now because King is a weird gimmick character who makes you watch movies. And Armor King plays more like a traditional character. But, you know, whatever. Damn, it's the same guy. Can I get some matches that give some points, please? That'd be sick. I hope he didn't leave. Hey, dude, I'm sorry I uh, I uh, beat you with your own main, but you don't have to be upset about it. Even has Deku Link from Majora's Mask for his PFP. That's one of my favorite games of all time. Majora's Mask? Majora's Mask is sick, and I'm not even a hipster. I am a hipster, but that's not why I like the game. The game's amazing. Atmosphere, dude. General, like, dread and creepiness throughout an entire Zelda game. That's a great idea. Did I go to the playtesting? No, I have not played the game yet. Wind Waker better? I don't know, that also has great atmosphere. Would I play Mishimas if they were bad? No. No, I would not. Because I also find the characters boring to look at and uninspired. <clears throat> Majora's Mask sucked, how dare you. Taking away Zen cancels. Yeah, well, the thing with um, Jin and Kazuya is that they're going to be in all the advertisements, so I think they want new players and bad players to be able to pick them up and do the most broken moves uh, without having to work for it first, uh, which is, uh, you know... It's a design idea that makes sense for those characters if you're a marketing dude and you don't, you know, care about Tekken being special or cool anymore. Um, so, you know, it makes perfect sense to me. Where was I? Somebody said Majora's Mask sucked, which isn't true. Ocarina of Time, nah. Inferior game. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the, um, the gameplay testing. So the thing with me not being invited to that first of all is that i'm not popular enough so i don't think it would be enough of a it wouldn't make sense as an investment for them to bring me over the other thing is that i think i have probably i don't know but i'm guessing a history of being a little bit too critical and a little bit too honest and a little bit unpredictable in the way i react to things because if there's a funny way to react to something i'd rather do that than you know um toe the line and uh, finally, um, you you cannot invite me to things. If you there are loads of people out there who uh, try and get in touch with me on like uh, from weird directions, but there is no way to find an email address to me. I have no social media, and I don't know if you guys have ever thought about this, but I've never told you my real name. So you guys don't know my name. So if you're somebody out there and you want to send me an invite to a beta test or whatever. You can't do it, because I basically don't exist, and that's exactly the way I want it. But I'm good friends with uh, people who are a little bit on the inside, so I can uh, get the information that way. But yeah, Namco probably don't want me hanging around their offices. I'd be The first thing that would happen when I got into um, uh, Namco headquarters is I would sneak off and I would look for that female Paul poster that they allegedly have on the wall somewhere and that they all jerk off on before they release new DLC. <laughs> like a good luck ritual. Your head canon is that my name is Frank? Yeah. Well, I was, uh, it's Francis, but you can call me Frank. Thought my name was Lars. Damn, you guys are um, weak at the guessing game. Let's beat this Kunimitsu and then we'll talk about uh, other stuff. Fight. Come on, Kuni, throw a dagger. It's cool. I thought I could like invent something right there, but it was not a good idea. She just do real combos now. It's an open air stage as well. Oh, small target privilege? How dare you, small target privilege. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> oh no, he's doing like the literal green rank panic stuff. All right, dude. Sorry I said that. You're super cool. I like you. Nice anime PFP. Nice full crouch mix up. All right, just do orbitals. I'll fall for it. Round four. Fight. That's a heat engager in the new game, by the way. One, one, one. It's gonna be good. Oh no, his movie was stronger than my movie. Mishimas are easy. Hey, good shit, God Hands cheering me up. Now I'm happy again. That's so true. They're the easiest characters now. Because you can do electrics whenever you want to for free. What could be easier than that? Just do them until the screen says TGO, if TGO is still a thing. Hey, he actually did a sidestep into a hawk kick. This guy can play Tekken. He should really consider playing some real characters then. Kunimitsu is who you pick if you really don't know the first thing about anything and you just want to get ranks. Or like, you know, draw some sexy fan art of a small child. Hey, thanks again, Trapsco, for being a member for nine months and for uh, gifting all those uh, memberships. Gifting all... Let's just call it gifting subs. Hey, thanks for gifting uh, subs. Some of her stuff feels uh, impossible to block punish. Uh, all of her stuff is exactly uh, impossible to punish. She doesn't have any unsafe moves anywhere in her entire arsenal. Everything she does is completely safe and uninterruptible and leads into everything else. So as long as you attack with her, you'll win for free. She's also unbeatable from a range. Uh, free TGO without learning anything about the game. I could get random child off the street and get them TGO with Kunimitsu uh, with less than 10 minutes of coaching, dude. They wouldn't even have to be in the room. I could just leave the controller with them. Uh, thoughts on Lei? I think Lei is um, super cool. He has like this really uh, great design, but it's let down by the fact that his... Um, Razor Rush and Stance mix-ups are too cancerous. So they become the only thing lay players will ever use are the Stance mix-ups with the fast snake edge um, and a bunch of other really cancerous stuff. And this a giant move list with all this pretty interesting stuff never gets used by anybody because they just want to do, uh, you know, easy pew pew snake edges. So it's like a little bit of a wasted design, but it's cool. It's got hella potential. Okay. It's a good whiff punisher sidestep too. Like probably what you should be using using it for really. I think he's gonna do a hell sweep now. Oh no! Ah, he did the mid. Come on, man. I was ducking. I thought he would hell sweep. That was my round. Hey, give it back. Wow. 
you ever want to know exactly how uh, easy Mishimas are, consider the fact that their jab string is a character called Kazumi. All she has is their jab string, none of their other good moves, and she's still usable. Oh, can't believe I didn't break it. That's um, embarrassing. Okay, so you can't high crush uh, her jabs with lightning screw. Kazumi officially has the lowest hitting jabs, I think, of any character in the game. They're basically mids. It's why you can't uh, use uh, Bob's uh, Rage Drive against her. You know, Bob's Rage Drive, the best Rage Drive, doesn't work on Kazumi. Well, the classic setups don't. Oh wow, what a good punish. I hate this guy. Well played. Make sure you kill so I can get out of here and play against somebody else. Hey, nice. Well done. Fucking hated this. <clears throat> Never mind, let's play him again. Well, that's not. Oh, we don't want to play him again. I can't beat Kazumi with Lars. She's got, like, um, you know, everything that he lacks. No, I can't play against. Uh, I mean, I'd love to, but my character can't win here. I think Miguel will be back. Um, I don't know. I think we have, like, a 50 50 chance, but the really painful thing right now is that all of the cool characters that I want to play, like Bob and Miguel, they have a decent chance of being released, but it's not what they're going to release next. Um, they're going to release um, Lily, now that they've shown Oscar. They're going to sh they're going to show Brian. They're going to show um, Steve, for sure. He might be the next one, very likely. They're going to show Yoshimitsu, definitely. Uh, I'm, my theory is probably some sort of capo. Um, and then if they've released like all that, maybe Miguel and Bob show up at the very end. So even if they will release like one of these, you know, cool characters, we're gonna have to wait against, uh, wait until it's it's um, almost over, almost time for release. So for now, I have to sit around and like um, think about Lars and Jack, I guess, because they're the only characters, the only characters they've shown so far that I will like even consider playing. Eryx arms? Why? Probably a missed input. I don't think he wanted to do that. Round two. Fight. Are you supposed to be a throw spammer? What happened, dude? That's not how you do that. Okay, so you can't hit confirm this. It's a pretty cool move then. Like, never used it. There you go. So difficult to punish that. All right, get some points back. That's good. Uksam. <clears throat> back to one is proper hit confirmable. Good. I'll try it more. I'll use it for like a mix up mid maybe. Would I ever extensively uh, play Lee? Probably not. Caught my last stream. Wasn't able to chat. <laughs> 
talking about dealing with insomnia. Hey, I hope it gets better, dude. I finally had a really good night's sleep yesterday, which is why I wanted to stream, because I feel a lot better and play a lot better when I've slept. But um, the last week uh, was rough. It was real rough. But a, a big part of it was this whole thing of summertime in Sweden. You know, we, we have summertime and wintertime, or daylight savings time, I guess is the proper uh, English. And I lived for a decade in a country that doesn't have that. They don't do that in Japan. They don't have to. The sun doesn't set until like seven anyway. Um, and now, like all of a sudden, the carefully cultivated circadian, you know, magunga that I had got messed up by that. And I really didn't enjoy it. Man, we got to get rid of daylight savings time. Uh, sa daylight savings time. Yeah, that's what you say, right? Somebody asked me earlier if I miss Japan, and I really do. I really, really do. <clears throat> I miss it in a big way. You know, it's the... Uh, the um, Hanami season right now. Where people go and watch the cherry blossoms. <laughs> Weebs and their cherry blossoms. But Hanami are, is super sick. Because what you do is... It, like in the middle of the day, it's basically you and your friends go day drinking in the park and it's nice and warm outside and you drink like delicious plum wine and beer and, uh, and eat, you know, cookies. It's great. Um, so you go, into the, you go to the park like under some nice trees and you have a blanket and you eat food and you hang out. Like doing Hanami used to be like some of the... Don't do a death cradle because I'll probably plug, dude. Just kidding. Um, yeah, I remember this one time, okay, so we went for Hanami, and one of my best friends who I moved to Japan with, one of, like, the two main guys who I, uh, hung out with over there, he was, like, all of a sudden saying he wasn't gonna come. This is one of the dudes that I learned Tekken alongside, but, you know, he was, a he was an Oscar Marduk and Law player, so, you know, definitely, uh, hentai Bakayoro Gaijin, you know, if you've ever met one. Um, and he was like, I'm not gonna come to the Hanami, which was weird because we did everything together This was something that we looked forward to and he's like, sorry, I'm busy and I'm like, dude, fuck off You're never busy. You don't even learn Japanese and do your homework. You just hang out and like He, he would like sit around doing online shopping trying to get good deals on things. I love this guy, but he was weird that way uh, How many years I lived there for uh, like nine years so um well, he, he's like not gonna come right so we assume that it's because he had a new girlfriend and maybe he wanted to hang out with his girlfriend but I was like if you want to hang out with your girlfriend first of all you could invite her you know that's one option but then you could also just say hey guys I want to hang out with my girlfriend which he didn't do he just said I can't come so this is weird right so we tell him where we're gonna be what we're gonna be doing and he's like no I can't come then we're sitting in the park doing the Hanami, and like on a path, uh, like a little bit further away, I see him. He's walking down the path holding hands with a girl. Plot thickens, it's not his girlfriend. He's walking down the path holding hands with a girl who isn't his new girlfriend. And he'd be like, yeah, I met this girl. We all knew about his new girlfriend. I'd met her. She was nice, right? So I'm like, oh... He's going on like a cheating date and he thinks he's being smooth by like not giving us any details of what, about what he's going to be doing, which is what made the whole thing suspicious. And then even though he knows because we told him where we're going and what we're going to be doing, he probably didn't even read the message and he goes to the same place. There are a bunch of parks and places in Fukuoka where you can do a Hanami. He came to the same park. And, and he didn't see us, but we, because we were up on a ledge, because it's, there's like a castle ruin in the park. So you sit up on the old ramparts and you can look down. So we saw him and, he, and he's very tall. He, you know, he was 196 centimeters. I mean, I think that's like seven, seven feet tall. It was a giant guy, right? Which is funny because his girl is tiny. Um, <laughs> he used to say that when they uh, slept together in his bed. Um... <laughs> Her, if they like hugged sleeping, he was so tall and she was so small that hit her nose would be in his belly button. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, what a bitch. So 
I decide to talk to him. I'm like, dude, you know that we all saw you hanging out with some girl the other day. And he's like, oh, wow. And he said to me, I know it's terrible. Like, I, I was always like the guy who would never cheat on my girlfriend. But then this weird thing overtook me where I felt like I wanted to know what it would be like to cheat. It's like an experience that I feel like I want to have before I die. And I'm like, wow, that's such a weird thing to say. It caught me off guard, right? Because it's a weird thing to say. Like, I've never thought about it that way. For me, it's an experience that I definitely don't want to have before I die. Especially now, because I've met the, the person that I'm most likely going to be with forever, right? So I would never do that to her or, or us. I couldn't live with it. But this guy, like, he wanted to... He wanted to um, know what it was like to 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 um, betray somebody like that. He's like Griffith and Berserk. Hey, the weeb references just keep on coming this stream. And this is one of my best friends who I've known for a long time, and I love this man deeply, okay? And I'm obviously not going to say his name. Um, but that was like a weird uh, time. But then, okay, so I'm like, all right, dude, so what are you going to do? And he's like, well, I have to break up with one of them. And it turned out into one of those weird situations that you see on shitty sitcoms, like How I Met Your Mother, where he was going to go for lunch with one of the girls, but then he had to hurry home because the other girl was coming over to watch a movie. You know what I mean? It was one of those situations. So I'm like, you have to talk to one of them. Well, you have to break up with one of them and then tell the truth to the other, right? So he's like, can I just, he's like asking me for permission. I was like, can I break up with one of them, but not tell the truth to the other? And I'm like, no, because if you're a fucking good person, a decent human being at any level, you won't be able to live with that anyway. And it will come out, tell her, and then maybe you can patch it up or maybe it will end, but maybe that will be for the better. You obviously have mad game right now. It's called, there's a beautiful, I mean, Japanese sayings, they're so colorful even when they're describing something dark. There's something called ryote ni hana, which means um, flowers in both hands. And it's when you're with two girls at the same time, usually at the table. But I guess it works in this uh, context as well. Um, so eventually he did break up with this uh, girl, uh, the, the, the girlfriend. Well, they both dumped him, I think. But her name... Let's come up with a name for her. Let's say her name was uh, Yuki. That's not her real name. It's close enough, but it you know it's not a big hint because all Japanese girl girls names, at least in my generation, starts with they all start with uh, Yu. But um, so we were at this big house party and she was there, and I'm like, well, that's weird that she's here because I you'd think that after what happened, she'd be like you know she wouldn't want to hang around us and our friends anymore, but she was there. And uh, I was sitting on the, a couch having a drink. This, this big house party, people everywhere, right? And I'm sitting on one end of the couch and she sits on the other. And I remember what I liked about her was that she had like, you know, she was this tiny, uh, like round, happy looking girl. I really, really, um, she, like she was bright, you know, she could brighten up a room. Um, but then she was like, yeah, I love uh, Pilates. It's like my main passion in life and I'm studying to become a Pilates instructor. And I love Pilates. And I was like, wow, that's weird, but that's fun. Like, it's, it's really great to be around people who are like in this stuff and have a passion and are interested in things, you know, that are doing things. People who, who don't immediately say, yeah, you know, I listen to music and hang around. Um, so I'm like, yeah, I heard you broke up. And she's like, yeah, it's fine. I don't really give a shit. And I'm like, okay, that's su surprising. Like, she didn't even care. And then I was like, so how's the Pilates thing go, uh, coming along? Are you going to be a, an instructor soon? And she was like, I decided that I think it's lame. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm like, okay. Damn, I was kind of disappointed. And then I became really disappointed because the next thing she did was she started sliding across the couch, skimmying, until she was right next to me. I lost. And then she put her hand on my thigh. And she started, uh, like, touching my thigh, and she's like, hey. I'm like, wow, this is so weird. This is my best friend's girlfriend. He's over there having, like, a cigarette on the balcony, and they broke up, like, five days ago, and she's here touching my thigh. And I'm like, hey, I'm going to go get a drink. And I got up, and I walked away. And 
my other friend, this uh, guy who I went to school with, sat down on the couch uh, as I walked away. And he's like, dude, where are you going? Um, I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to go get a drink. And I see the girl, Yuki, start sliding off in his direction instead. Like, <laughs> she just broke up with the one guy. She skimmies over to me, or shimmies, or whatever the word is. And when I go, nah, and another guy sits down, she goes directly for that guy. I'm like, damn, I thought you were this, like, innocent, cute, you know, bright little girl. Turns out she just, like, really likes white boys, I guess. But, a couple of, that was the last time I saw her, but uh, three years later, I heard that the guy she started... Oh, yeah, 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 because I saw them later that night, and they were making out. They were still on the couch, and they were making out. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's so weird. And we left. But then I heard, like, three years later that the two of them, that the guy, my friend uh, from school that she sat next to and started touching his thigh they're married and had kids <laughs> so that was like how they met at that party <laughs> i shouldn't laugh i wish them nothing but happiness but yeah that was a weird uh that was a weird week in the life damn i'm getting my ass kicked Oh, well, that's not the combo. They don't hop kick me, dude. It's uh, disrespectful. Lars combos, though. Ooksam. As soon as I go quiet, I start winning again, huh? Gotcha. I really hate King's um, overpowered uh, move list. That's it, huh? Don't mess it up. I went for the one break. Hey, this match is uh, trash. Let's keep playing it. I can beat this guy if I'm quiet. Do all uh, kings hop key when they're min uh, hop knee when they're minus? Yeah, pretty much. Oscar looking sick. <laughs> she looks like a thick dumb bitch, but you know, she's always been that. So if you liked her in the past, I guess you'll still like her. Oscar. Oscar in the new game. They removed the butt uh, zoom from her um, intro though. She still has the bicycle intro, but the slow zoom in on her underage uh, asshole is no longer in the game. So I guess that's a nerf. Hey, do you want to do a move that counts or is balanced or doesn't have infinite range, launches whenever, you know? Do you want to do one move that counts or are you mainly just going to press the win buttons until this is over? That's launch punishable. I shouldn't have tried it. He stays on the ground uh, every single time he gets knocked down. So I should just uh, stomp. It's gonna work. At least one time. Until he catches on. Ooh, didn't work! I was gonna rage drive right away, so I'm gonna do a toe kick. See? Reading him like a bad shitty book that I've read before. Lost to alley kicks again. Doesn't matter. Press big buttons. Lars is trash. This game's trash. That was nice though. Not breaking throws. His name is Throw Spammer. That's great that you have to sit around spamming your button buttons like that to get out of that throw. That's great game design, Namco. You should really not have a look at that ever. Okay, that doesn't work, huh? And I'm losing so hard with Lars because he's trash. Hey, let's play. Do you guys want to play a little bit of Miguel and then come back to Lars? <laughs> let's do that. Man, he's so bad. It's ridiculous. I think he's... I, having played him a lot the last few weeks, I'm convinced that I, he's bottom one now. I don't think there is a weaker character in the game. I don't think there is. I think he might be literally the worst character. Even though he has some of the best combos. 
Maybe combos don't matter. I don't think combos matter much. Because uh, think about uh, Feng. He like doesn't have great combos. He has great Oki. So like all of his combos are two combos. In that sense, I guess he does have good combos. They don't matter if you can start them, yeah. Good points. Miguel combos are sick, yeah, that's true. Tekken is about neutral and mix up. Not anymore, dude. Not anymore. <clears throat> now Tekken is about mix up and mix up and mix up and mix up. But mainly the game is played on the character select screen. You get to the character select screen and there are right and wrong choices. And if you make a right choice, it doesn't really matter how you play. Pick Jin, do Ford 4. Congratulations. You play Tekken well. You play the meta game well. Oh, he can convert that? Broken character. That's broken. I hate that. That she has that. Not gonna kill. It's not the right choice. I'm sorry I wasted so much time doing the raid chart. What do you guys think I should do for the mix? Is it down for one? Won't kill. That works. You whiffed. Hey, nice block. He's fast. hate when Josies are trucking like that. That's how all the good Josies play. They just keep on attacking this one long colon-shaped stream of shit. Uh, it's very stressful to have to play against. I don't think the character is good, but that's extremely hard to play against. He's very good at mixing his mids and lows right there. He does these like these tiny lows all the time. Now he has these um, mi big mixy uh, mids as well, right? Tricked him though. Tricked his little ass. He get tricked. What's the best Miguel cheese to beat bad players? Um, up forward three two two. Forever, you can do up for 3 2 2 and win. You can get, like, I guess at least Emperor without getting ducked. Just do that. And then do hop kicks. Hop kicks are good, though, with Miguel. Miguel has a safe splatting mid. Safe splatting mid, what would that be? I don't know if, if he has a safe splatting mid. Oh, Miguel's a poking character. I forgot. Hey, you uh, you swing too much, bro. Okay. 
Okay, I was gonna say okay. I'm not okay with this. Broke it. Definitely broke it. Wow, two throw. That's spicy. Hey, I blocked that because it was obvious. Why did it happen anyway? That's very strange. It was probably an angle thing because of the wall. Uksam. Uksam, Pokey Pokes, a Miguel on a Sunday or whatever. Hell yeah. Have I played Tekken 8? No, I haven't played it. I think there are two groups of people that have played Tekken 8. There are the people who um, got invited to um, uh, Tokyo to play it early. That was Main Man, Arsenal T, the two Rips, and Max. Um, great choice. Oh, and Aris, right. Great, like, cool guys. I mean, two of them don't play Tekken, Aris and Max. Aris at least used to. It's pretty good. Um, and, uh, yeah. But there are some uh, good players in there. Some really good content creators. Like, my my only... The only streamer I ever really watched or subbed to, you know, Aris. Um, but they went to Tokyo and they played it, um, which was sick. And then I think some people were invited to play it at EVO Japan. For example, um, Arya Blasted Salami. We were talking about it like two, uh, two days ago. But he was going to get to play it and I'm like, wah, that's so sick. And I asked him because the one thing I found funny about the videos that came out about Tekken 8 after people had played it was it felt like everybody who'd played it said the exact same thing in their videos on the game and they said them in the exact same order almost so i'm like damn did nanko give you talking points did you get a script um i haven't gotten a straight answer on that yet but that, that would be really funny if they're like here are the things we would like you to say about the game in this order remember to mention the fact that he is sick <laughs> That's because I ask questions like that, I don't get invited. <laughs> but I prefer my way. It's gonna be big damage. Damn, when did I win uh, two rounds? Oh, that's a safe low, right? That's crazy. Nerf Josie. Tricked you, that's the frame special. That one plus two and two throw look way too similar. I can't see the difference. Oh, and he has a broken... Uh, Thing you have to know, knowledge, check, little throw, steady up you right there, huh? What if I counter hit you with my uh, slappy slap? Hey, yeah, uh, thanks. Oh, damn, Justin Clark. Wow, this is like easily the most crazily generous stream I've ever had. Thank you so much, Justin Clark. Was it just me or was that crowd reaction to Leroy quiet? I didn't hear anyone cheering. Hey, the fact that they... Um, the fact that they revealed Leroy at EVO Japan, which is the tournament he famously completely ruined, 
it made me respect Namco more. I mean, my respect for Namco was was very, very low after everything that happened in Tekken 7. I think 8 looks sick so far, despite the fact that it has free electrics. But that's such a gangster move. I mean, it's such contempt for the player base uh, that I almost have to give it up. I guess the reaction was uh, quiet because people didn't know if it was an actual reveal. Man, I'm so sick with Miguel today. Uh, or a joke. Because, you know, it could have been a joke. Sidestep Boo. Man, nerf the range on that low poke she has. That's like 16 frames to impact as well. Oh, that's bad. Wake up, super. What do you think this is? Street Fighter Five? Can do a low. What did it throw? I love while standing one. Love while standing one. Oh wow! Okay. Thanks, Arata. Black spike, weird. <gasps> Evaded it perfectly. I'm moving like a master. Doesn't matter. Just give tracking to everything. A movement's dead. Rip movement. Rip grandma. Rip grandma. <laughs> Don't do that. Or that. Rage Shark? Miguel is so sick! Uxam. You think it's possible you could go full-time streamer when Tekken 8 comes out and there's a lot of interest? It's possible. I'm not gonna count on that being possible, but if I... If you look at the release of um, 7, basically what happened was everybody who had content going back then doubled their following at least. Some people tripled easily, right? I started um, and I got uh, popular quite quickly on YouTube. And then as the interest for the game uh, cooled off, um, you know, uh, so did uh, the uh, Dong expansion of the channel. But, uh, yeah, it's possible. But again, I'm not going to count on it. You know, I have a day job, and that, that day job is going really well. But I'm not going to lie and say it wouldn't be a dream to, like, play a game like this or stream uh, for a living. Definitely. I mean, it's... I know it's not for everybody, and it comes with its own challenges. All the very, like, popular and rich streamers always tell you that. But it's also true that there are all, all these people out there who... It's a lifestyle that suits them. And I think Air is, is my favorite example. He's clearly found what he's kind of supposed to be doing, if you know what I mean. And he's having a lot of fun with it. He's always laughing. You know? He's not sitting there showing you his gun collection and then saying something political that gets him cancelled. You know? He's not reacting to the fucking... Uh... He's not reacting to Ben Shapiro. <laughs> you know? Playing silly games and having a fun time and like making fun of the whole thing. He's a deconstructionist, which is, you know, everybody, like everybody I love and look up to is. Craig Ferguson, Aris. Um, and I think, honestly, it would be something that would suit me. I don't know if I have the chops to be, um, you know, to make people like me enough that I'd be popular enough. That might not be uh, the case. But, you know. What's my job? Um, don't want to get too specific, but um, I'm in um, uh, hotel management. Or like, um, 
um, luxury places, like five-star places. That's what I've been, uh, that's the industry I've been in since uh, I lived in Japan. So along the line, uh, somewhere along the lines I got uh, good at it. But I take my job very seriously. Uh, I mean, to the extent that I'm able to take anything seriously. You know, I'm still me. But, uh, hey, yeah, well played, Josie boy. Um, you don't have to corpse kick. I know you're excited about taking a win after four fat L's, but you don't have to corpse kick. It's okay. Um, uh, you know, it's the... Um, it makes life so much easier. When you take your job seriously and try and do it well, um, it makes everything else easier. You know? It means that I have to stress less about it. Because I know I'm doing my best in what I'm supposed to. Any criticism that comes my way, I can handle it. Because I work hard. Nobody at the office where I work can say that um, they don't see me there often enough, that I don't show up. Always on time. Always do what I'm supposed to, and then I do some more. And then maybe I go home. And that is why when I go home I can focus on playing Silly Goose video games and having a good time. Spamming out strings, huh? Nice corpse kick again. Is that your favorite corpse kick? Is that the move you usually go to when you want to make somebody feel bad for losing to you? That's interesting. Good trade for me, actually. That's funny. All the counter hits that she has from that stance. I kind of hate all of it. Kind of really hate all of it. Round four. The most pre pre packaged and like predetermined play style maybe of any character. Just go into the stance. Unavoidable mix up. Go into the stance. Unavoidable mix up. Go into the stance. Unavoidable mix up. Go into the stance. No. Okay. Where's the stance, dude? I was supposed to play if you don't go into the stance. Good block. Oh, it's the two throw. Hey, fuck this guy. Hey, well played. I hated that. It's a fucking stream of uh, dog shit and constant spamming. Felt like a green rank match. Hey, I'm sorry I said that. Well played. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. Can I maintain my focus after work? No. Um, usually now I actually play on my days off. Uh, and um, uh, Or before work. Go into stance unavoidable mix-up. Sounds like Tekken 8. Well, let me rephrase. Um... In Tekken 8 is going to be go into heat unavoidable mix-up. Go into heat unavoidable mix-up. How much money can you give me? Uh, you guys don't have to worry about giving me money. Okay, so one thing I've never done, and if you've watched me for years, you know that this is true. You can go back and look at my entire archive if you want to, but I can save you the trouble. It's never happened. I've never asked anybody to like. I've never asked anybody to uh, subscribe or donate or do anything like that. Because if I have to ask... First of all, it's going to lessen my enjoyment of the experience of streaming. I don't want to say it because then I'm in a bad mood. You know, because I'm very cynical about streaming. You guys know that, right? I'm very cynical about this whole thing because it's like... 
It's a pretty silly thing that it even exists. I enjoy it, but it's like, it's weird, right? And um, that that's going to be top of mind the minute I say that. Hey, guys, before we start, I'd really appreciate it if... <clears throat> that just means, if I have to say that, and I know I'm wrong about this, I'm actually wrong, because there's like official data from YouTube that shows that if you say that, more people do. That's why everybody says it. The first thing that happens when you get your YouTube coach or whatever is, you know, if you tell people to comment and subscribe and like, they actually do. If you tell them to ring the notification bell, they do, which is why everybody asks you. But I don't want to ask you. I really don't want to say it. I want to put those words in my goddamn mouth. I think Ares does it because he, it's for no pants, because it... it the YouTube channel is no pants' job, right? If somebody else was making money, uh, he had to change his corpse kick to a butterfly edge because it hits grounded. Hey, your bitch-born corpse kicking is uh, showing, dude. Maybe you should cover that shit up. Um, so uh, then I would be like, um, you know, yeah, please subscribe because somebody else has to get paid. But if it's just me and my money, my non-existent money, because I don't, basically don't make money doing this, which is fine, then, uh, you know, I'd rather not say stuff like that. Okay, I'm going to shut up and kick this guy's ass now because I'm annoyed at all the spamming he's doing. I hope that's okay with you guys. Oh, that's death. It's not death. I can still win the round. KO. Round two. All right, whatever. Fight. Be that guy. Look at the attack. Like, the rate of attacks here. This is faster. This is spammier than Nina. This is way spammier than Nina. It's the spammiest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, goes over that. Of course it does. Two throw. One plus two throw. They look the same. Pointless to even try and see the difference. <laughs> Just kidding. I should be able to see the difference. Ares sounds like a child when he says it. Ares always sounds like a child. That's why his voice is so funny. Round three. Did you see that? Oh, that was so sick. Our 1-2 is extremely broken, huh? You can tell that it's ex ex essentially the cornerstone of the entire character. The design and then just spam 1-2. Got broken range. Meanwhile, I don't have any jabs on my character, so that's good. Maybe I should become a Josie hater. That'd be funny. Half my uh, viewer base is uh, made up of Josie players. One, two. Run up one, two. And the raid charts. And the raid charts. Making me watch fucking movies of the game being bad. Hey, remember Tekken 7? It's bad. Check this movie out, dude. I was hop kicking, which means I actually won that. I was hop kicking. Cool corpse kick. I'm not going to play this guy anymore. I'm too irritated. I'm sorry, you guys. I hated this. It was pointless. <laughs> Eris 47? Yeah. Sounds like Scooby-Doo. I can do some impressions, but only sometimes. And whenever I say that, somebody's like, do an impression, and then you can't do it because you're put on the spot. It's like when somebody asks you to do a hard combo that you can do. I'm also bunged up right now. I have a cold, so it's not going to work. Yeah. 
You like my Aria impression? Aria from Blast's Salami? Get ready for the next battle. 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 I guess I can try it. It's not gonna be good now. Aria is like, um, this move is plus four on counter hit, making it one of the better moves in the game. That's him. Arnold? Arnold is just... <laughs> when I did Brian, I'm... I'm I'm playing, I'm playing Brian, you guys. I'm going to come, you guys. I'm playing Brian. It's hard to do. Round one. That was pretty good. Hey, thanks. Thanks for liking it. Hey, I can uh, walk that. So this match is over, boy, okay? I can walk that shit. Check out my counter hit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna fucking activate poke shop mo uh, mode and make some noise right here. Yeah, I'm still gonna lose the round. I talk so much shit and I lose the round. <laughs> Never mind. Oops. Um. Pokey gang. All right. Big boss. The Josie guy added me to a friends list. Do you guys want to see what he has to say? Well, probably something along the lines of "You're my favorite streamer." Smile. So you know we don't have to listen. A sick combo if it worked. Hey, I can't believe I swung in between the two hits of Crimson Dawn against the Kazumi. Goes to show how rarely we play this character these days. Damn, and the sidestep jab. Nerf flash punch combo removed from Tekken. Shouldn't exist. It's game ruining. I hate flash punch combo. I hate flash punch combo. So broken. I hate flash punch combo. I hate it so much. Why would you ever, like, do another move that isn't that? I guess they don't. I guess they don't. Interrupts everything. It's hit confirmable. There's no risk. And they can't. it can't be ducked. If they made it, like, a super high and it was reliably you could duck and punish it, it would be one thing. But it's... Do you guys know it's immune to while standing punishment, right? Maybe I can show it to you. If I try and duck a jab, you can see it happen. You can see it happening. It, they made it uh, in a way where if you duck the first jab and try and punish, uh, the second will always uh, hit you. Oh, wow. That's some bullshit you panicked into right there. Please add him. All right, we'll add him. This is content, you guys. Yeah, because you duck, because they always do uh, magic four right there. So you just do the safe on block uh, mid option. Yeah, that makes sense. I jumped instead of uh, stepping. That's not a mistake you can do or make. Oh. Maybe I should play Kazumi. It's like two moves and you win for free, right? Look at him like playing Street Fighter footsies. <laughs> I can do this too. Hey, do you think this is cool? Think this is Tekken? Hey, uh, good stuff, dude. It's not like we move in this game. Man, this guy's kicking my ass. Well played, dude. That was really nice.
Nah, he didn't do it. I thought he would run up. He hasn't done the running one yet. Do you think he's gonna do it this time? Wow. Yeah, it's not going great so far, you guys. Let's switch uh, characters again. Too many backflips? Guess I'll do less backflips. What character doesn't have backflips? You guys want to play uh, Zafina? Yeah. I kind of don't. <laughs> Googies? He's so bad, though. Want to try Jack again? Let's play some Jack, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Let's play Jack. Hey, what's up, THC and me? Hey, thanks, Tyson Legend. Love to India. Play King? Hmm. No, I want to play some Jack and uh, Lars every day so that I'm not completely... Like, I want to have some experience with them when uh, Tekken 8 comes out and they are the only characters that look cool. How do you um, do this? Oh, it works, huh? Hey, that's big. A good combo. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. Join talking about your insomnia. Hey, I hope you get to sleep, dude. But the main thing is this: uh, is this right now? You're not going to be like um, if you're not able to sleep. If you you just have to stop stressing out about the fact that you're not sleeping. Trust me, it's not going to kill you. I've been up for like. Three days in a row without getting a single minute of sleep, and I thought it was, you know, it was gonna be terrible and ruin my, you know, everything or whatever, and that just made everything worse. You'll sleep eventually. Just chill out, and if you can't sleep at all, whatever, right? Maybe next time. An influenced Fang. That's the first one today. <laughs> Fangs lows. Round two. Fight. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Did it right, you know. Oh no, the best move in the game. KO. Down for 2 2 from Feng. Round three. Fight. Ah, he got me. That's so close. This game's trash. Well played. Fight. No, that's the wrong combo.
All right, that works. Final round. Fight. Oh man, I'm gonna get copyright struck by Rip for saying boom in a loud voice. Hey, well played, Feng guy. I don't want to play an influenced Feng on an uh, infant stage, though. Well played, though. What's for big dinner? Mm, I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna have to go shopping. That's a good point. Hey, babe. What do you want to eat for dinner today? Mmm, what does she got? It's good, yo. Kyo. It's good to eat, yeah. あの、キムルのもの<笑> Nihonese, yeah. Check out the Nihonese. You better sub to me. Hey guys, again, I need to thank you for like all the crazy generosity you've shown me so far this stream. It's basically been already <laughs> the best stream I've had in terms of that stuff. And now we're playing some Jack and having a really good time. And Tekken 8 looks sick. It has free electrics, which means that even though the game will competitively be useless, because everybody will be a Mishima main. I mean, they already are. Kanzi has overplayed at every rank. So is Jin, so is Devil Jin, and Jin is Devil Jin now. Um, and they will win for free by getting free electrics forever, and they will make excuses and say that the characters are hard still. We do get to make fun of them for an entire game now. And we have a really good argument that they can't really counter. Because electrics are easy. Tekken 8 is going to be so sick. Lars looks cool. Jack looks cool. Get ready for the next battle. 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 Has my uh, girlfriend ever been on stream? No, but that's obviously a choice uh, by us. Okay, so I can put it this way. We were talking about streaming earlier, right? So I've got a Japanese girlfriend, right? I could put on some ukulele music and have like um, a happy stream where we cute teach each other Tekken or whatever. Hey babe, I'm gonna teach you how to play this game and we could sit here and I would quintuple my viewership in a day. It would be easily the most viewed thing I've done, right? Because that's real YouTuber content. That's even real, that's more real YouTube than reacting to the Johnny Depp trial. That's maximum YouTube right there. You know, me and my uh, interracial family, sometimes it's hard, but for the most part, it's really fun. Hey, thanks, guys. Today, we're going to go to the zoo. Whatever, right? But I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Because, uh, you know, it's not my thing. Why would I use people in my life for uh, views, you know? Like those families that put like their three-year-olds in videos and make them do stuff. Um, that like pretty close to a definition of evil as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so I'm not gonna no, I'm not gonna weaponize my Japanese girlfriend. I will weaponize my own weebness though and speak a little bit of uh, Nihonese on here so that the weeb start cooming. You know, I'm not dumb. Maybe I should use back one more. What do you guys think? Is it good?
Can't believe I get hit by the second hit of that a lot. <clears throat> <laughs> Wrong move, but it worked. That's sick. <laughs> Atlas hammer? Back turn throws, huh? You're desperate. Where's the snake edge? If you're desperate, where's the snake edge? Spam jabs. Don't play Tekken, spam jabs. It's easier. Fight. Again, that's so much damage I'm leaving or giving up for free getting hit by that. Are you supposed to step it or something? Oh no, that was it. I just needed to hit the jackhammer. Ah, the low and he gets guaranteed shit. This game is trash. I hate this guy. Well played. You can punish the second hit with forward two. It's minus 10. All right, I'll just do that. Oh, this guy has Brian in his profile picture as well. He's got, um, um, you know, SpongeBob Brian. Uh, so we know for a fact that this guy is a really fun guy. Check out his stream. You thought the title was a hypothetical joke? <laughs> Welcome to the world of uh, playing a game that Namco makes, dude. All the hypothetical jokes come true. All the hypothetical jokes come true. Do you guys want an example of the hypothetical jokes coming true? When Leroy was so busted, the game was completely unplayable and everybody gave up on the franchise or just, you know, uh, made fun of it. Um, the next arc was, what are you going to release next? A character that just uh, breaks guard? <laughs> and then they released Fuck'em Lum. All the hypothetical jokes come true, dude. It's always worst case scenario. I'm not complaining. Brian's taught his, uh, taught his free now with three button macro. Yeah. I wonder what you would want three button macro for, really. With any character I play, it's not, um. It's not useful for anything, really. You guys want to see if the um, Josie player uh, messaged us? Oh, he didn't. Now he's just on my friends list. That's lame. All right. Hey, we'll play Josie uh, guy. I need to start doing the right thing here. Oh, it is four. Yeah, it is four. Never mind. There we go. Wow, first try. It's gotta be fast, huh? The what macro now? Okay, so the new uh, information that came about, about about Tekken 8 is you can officially now bind more than two buttons to one button press. Um, I wonder if they're going to let you uh, macro in uh, directional inputs. Like you could have a button for forward two plus three or something. 
Yeah, that exists now, so you can do a taunt button if you're playing Brian. Hey, Devil Jin. Nice and balanced. Doesn't have low launchers at all. Oh wow, lightning screw, huh? Well, at least you're not playing uh, luck based. At least you're not playing using luck. Round two. Fight. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, he did the um, flying get up option. <laughs> just gave it away. They don't want to do a raid chart. I, I dislike them so much now. I think it's because they're uh, safer in Tekken 8. Maybe that's why. That was sick. Final round. Fight. Flash punch combo, huh? Pretty good move. Second eight rage arts have armor. <clears throat> yeah. And they're minus 13. They're minus 13 on block, so they're like as risky as a hop kick, but um, they do as much damage as a combo. So it's basically it's basically an armored hop kick, but you have to watch the movie. Fight. Kind of. I guess you could put it that way. Twice? Okay. Guess that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Does he always like get up by doing the forward thing? So weird. Electric. Nice patience. Oh, wow. Did you leave? Oh, he's here. K -O. 
Back three is like pretty good. I should start using back three for like Oki and stuff. I feel like I'm learning a little bit of Jack here. Oh wow, okay. Finish that, okay. Broke it, but never mind. Nice. Shouldn't have finished it. I honestly was 100% sure that he would swing right there. Mm, okay. Let's not talk about how lame that is. Focus on beating him instead. Hey, nice. Oh, I wish I had a single move. That was as good as your worst move, Delgin. Single move that was half as good as your worst move. And I'd be ranking up like crazy. Hey, Hachi and Tekken 8, do you really think he's gonna show up? Man, you guys are crazy. Of course there's not gonna be Hey Hachi. Simple mode or whatever it's called is already... Um, I think I'm gonna refer to it. It's called Special Style. I think the nickname that's gonna emerge, if I'm guessing, is gonna be Special Need Style. But maybe that's a little bit too uh, politically spicy. What's well, the what you choose to do if learning or putting in any kind of effort isn't your thing? In which case, it's not your franchise. But you know, whatever. Fun in, in uh, you know, uh, story mode or whatever. Customization mode. Hate this right now. <sighs> Hate this right now. Devil Jin. Okay. I mean, I thought all the Devil, Devil Jin players had just admitted that the character was a joke and given up at this point, but they're still around. Can't really do anything here. I don't think I have any moves that can hit him anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really have anything that can hurt him. Maybe I'm just bad with Jack, but the way he's playing right now, doing things that have better range than me, even though I'm supposed to be the range specialist, um, everything being safe, setting up everything else on top of low launchers and the electric. It's kind of impossible, right? With recovery as well. Yeah, I don't think this is a matchup they're supposed to be able to win. The way this is designed. Maybe I should just be aggressive and like poke more. Nice. Should have done the mid. I shouldn't do that move at all. It's not good. Always rolls to the side after that knockdown. Every time. Alright. <clears throat> Did you see that they nerfed Asuka's Oppai? 
Is that true? Wow, I guess the entire community is going to drop her now. That's sad. She also said I had a dumb hat, but then again, so do I. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Oh my god, you have to remove the properties of every movie he has. There's not a single thing in here that works. Devil Jin, everything has to go. That move, that extension, that spin move. Everything has to go. You don't have a single thing that works. It's all broken, dude. Holy shit. That's a nice step though. Man, Devil Jin is the joke. But regular Jin is probably even better. Hey, let's shut up and win this. Yeah, I can easily lose this. Honestly, it, yeah. More likely to lose that than not. Yeah, press the win button. Final round, so you better start pressing the win button. Wow, okay. That's not a 1 plus 2 break? Oh, it's just his 2 throw? Man, I wish I weren't playing against the Devil Jin. The size of the Peplonis, does she have smaller areola in the new one? Wind button spacing was good though. Yeah, he's playing uh, really well. It's just, uh, you know, all the moves are uh, embarrassing to me. But he's good. I'm playing like uh, crap, by the way. This is how you, what you do, right? You do like uh, two jabs and uh, pokes, and that's how you win, right? Oh, I get it now. Oh, and then he pressed the win button. Okay, forgot about the win button. Nice win button. Yeah, not playing very well. That's okay though. Jackhammer though. Round four. Fight. It's 
weak to Jackhammer. Final round. Fight. That's a heat engager in the new game. That would have been a launch in Tekken 8. That's crazy, right? Get ready for the next battle, battle. What does girlfriend think of my streaming career? Do I have any favorite pro players? Damn, you guys are asking uh, clever questions, huh? Uh, I was doing YouTube uh, way before I met her. And um, <clears throat> if I'm going to sit around playing video games, I might as well do something constructive like, you know, make a video or uh, stream it but um, if you consider streaming being constructive maybe you don't because it depends on the streamer um, but uh, yeah she's fine with it but usually what I do is she works from home so when she's working I do this Get it for free, cause dog shit. I'll play it. Knew it. Ugh. Didn't matter that I knew it. The armor move does work. Come on, man. Don't flowchart that hard. Don't flowchart this hard. You know how to play the game. You don't have to do this stuff. Oh, that's so bad! By me, I mean. That's so bad by me. <laughs> Still got it, but... Uh, an important backdash. Favorite pro players? I used to really like, I mean, I don't really watch uh, uh, tournaments anymore because every single tournament is identical to every other tournament. Same players, same characters, same commentators, same person wins. And then it's mainly about, you know, how much uh, energy drink you can advertise during. Um, but... Um, I used to really like Chanel, he was my favorite to watch, because he played cool characters. And, um... He had this, like, really wild, rare style for a high-level pro, you know? Where he would actually take risks and play weak characters creatively. And I heard he's a little bit of, like, an artist. I think he's, like, a fortune teller. He knows magic and stuff. But that comes across in the way he plays, you know? Um, so, uh, yeah, I used to like Chanel a lot. I like character specialists, so I always enjoyed watching Saint play, uh... Um... The battles are sublime. Hey, thanks, Median X, for liking the gameplay. How sick were Japanese arcades? Extremely sick. You could hang out in them for 10 hours, and it, you'll feel like you just showed up. And you would end up spending a lot of money. But it was extremely... Fun. It was so much fun. It was extremely much fun. Flash punch combo is broken, so I can't do any moves. Ah, 
I was so close. I should have just spammed my down for two out faster. Hey, cool uh, shit, whiffing the corpse kick. Maybe do a dash into corpse kick next time. Maybe you'll get it. The win button as well. That makes perfect sense. All of this makes perfect sense. It's so easy to get away from the wall once he puts you in a corner. It's not like he has instant, infinite, everything always with armor for a death combo, whatever happens. It's not like he has that, so you can just get away from the wall. Wow, okay. Nah, I lost. Okay. Went too close before I did the debugger. It would have killed him. I'm not gonna play this guy anymore because his character choice has uh, given me uh, eczema. But hey, well played. Nicely done. You did like three things uh, that were um, half decent. Well done, dude. <laughs> hey, I'm just kidding. Well played. Devil Jin guy. Are we actually excited for Tekken 8? Or, or isn't everybody? What do you guys think? Are people like not excited about the game? I mean, Free Electrics is... In insanity. It's the, the... I mean, it's officially the funniest, dumbest thing they've ever done. It's funnier than Leroy. It's funnier than paid frame data. It's funnier than putting homing hell sweeps in, tweeting about blocking and then removing homing hell sweeps again. It's the official... official uh, official craziest dumbest thing Namco have ever done and that is saying something that's saying everything free electrics for 10 seconds or 25 seconds as long as you keep on doing electrics yeah it's officially that most insanely crazy thing they've ever done but it's funny so I'm hype Bob's going to be revealed soon, and then everything will be well. Don't you guys worry. Don't worry about a thing. We got this. See, we're ducking electrics, even though it's impossible now. Should stop doing that. Just the first hit of the launcher, it feels good to hit with, so you end up doing it. KO. <clears throat> Round <two>. Fight. <laughs> Should be able to counter hit him in that window. It's trash that you can't. win this blue hell sweep normal hell sweep mind blown <clears throat> Win button. You gonna get the wall? Of course he is. That's why the move exists. Alright. 
think I can compete for the Wii Best Tech in Content Creator. I don't know. Isn't there a guy called um, Anime Illuminati who sits in a room in Japan with like, unironically, I think, I don't know if it's a joke, but doesn't he unironically have like fight sticks and figurines and anime posters in the background with purple lights? Um... But I mean, maybe he's a poser. I don't know if he uh, speaks to moon runes, you know? I don't know if he, sh he bolts his katana a thousand times and then cuts clean through cheese. I don't know if he knows the basics of how to be an actual weeb. It could just be paraphernalia, you know? But, uh, you know, I'm pretty weeb. I don't have any Funko Pops or figurines. What do I have? I always have the book I'm reading here. That's where I put it when I'm not reading it. I'm reading uh, Woodhouse right now. Joy in the Morning. Hey, that should be the name of this stream. Gonna watch the Oscar reveal a couple more times. Make up my mind about this uh, character. What's the pointy thing? What's her new pointy thing? Is that like, does she charge up and become more powerful gradually, like some sort of um, third strike character? What's the pointy thing? That's what I want to know. Hey, it's a raven. That never happens. That's cool. Hey, you launched it. Oh no, I did the get up kick. That's not good. Oh, that's a big mistake, dude. We kicked your ass right there if I was better at this game. Don't snake it from back turn, dude. Come on, man. I only got that low parry because you did the snake edge. It changed my mental state. And I became more focused on beating you. Oh, wow. Counter hit high at that range. That's brave. Don't do it again, though. Ooh, Uxam. Round three. Fight. Natural. Oh, I hate that. That's natural. This is so much damage. That's so much. When she gets that at the wall, she put the controller down and play a better game. Uh, I think my favorite Tekken uh, song of all time. Maybe. It's up there. Indonesia is good too.
I have a whole Japanese woman. Hey, uh, good point, uh, Mistake Johnson. I guess I am the ultimate weeb streamer. <laughs> hey, that's true. Look, looks like a stance. I don't think it's a stance. I think she does that and she like charges up and she gets some like uh, power. She downloads power in her titties and then her uh, back three becomes unblockable or something. It's going to be something like that. Mark my words. Oh, she's doing uh, reversals still. So that's good. <laughs> Man, I love talking shit about this game. Okay, her armor move, which is already like the best armor move in uh, 7, is a heat engager. That's crazy. That's crazy. If it works anything like it does right now, it's going to be... It's easily one of the best moves we've seen so far. It's a normal hit launcher. Because it's a heat engager. And that makes uh, it so important because in this game you're going to do armor moves all the time. And you have to do armor moves all the time because um, you're constantly being forced into a mix-up. And armor moves are like the only way to escape the mix-up. That's the way they've designed it to be. Weird round. That's the way they designed it to be. Oh wow, okay. One under the 4-2. Wow, never stop Bunga. Dude, this is some Bunga right now. Unblockable Bunga. Into the corpse kick. This guy's a master. I wish I was this sick. Because of the snake edge he did last time, he got a free hop kick this time. So I guess it worked out for him in the end. Wow. Wow, some of the most intense uh, Boonga I've ever seen. Massive Bunga, unblockable throw, snake edge throw, snake edge throw, unblockable, snake edge throw, corpse kick. It's just business. Sorry, bro, you're just not worth any points. Maybe next time. Good luck with the uh, play style. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's the funniest thing I've said all stream. Yeah, she's doing like, she's hitting Leroy at the wall, right? And then she's pointing. And it, there's like a thing. If something happens to her. It's, I don't think it's a stance. It might be like uh, Claudio's Starburst kind of a thing. But it's not indicated on the model, right? Um, Oscar, I'm talking, I'm watching the Oscar trailer. Trying to understand what their new pointing uh, thing is. Round one. She looks good, I guess. <clears throat> that's another one of the best moves in the game right there. Zero risk counter at launcher. That's fantastic. Nice. New kill. 
He's wasted all the floors already. Doing not, not much at all. Probably punish that launch punisher below, huh? Wow, okay. Wow, was my whiff recovery that bad? Hmm. Yeah. Can't hit this guy. Can't hit him. Fight. Might as well stop trying. Can't hit him. <laughs> Why don't don't you know that it breaks the floor at this point? You've done it three times. I don't think that's where you want to break it. Yeah, I can't hit this guy, not even almost. You can get like a low, but that's it. Well played. That was unplayable. I can't hit this guy. Let's figure out how to hit him. Right now, the way I'm playing and the way he's playing, it overlaps in a way where I will never hit him. So I need to think of something else. He's not going to get counter hit by the, like, the second hit of strings. He's blocking lows. He's got better range than me and a projectile. All of his moves are... Categorically superior. Counter hits. Punishment, everything. What do I do? Duck a high? Can't hit him with jackhammer either, because my jackhammers are so obvious. ducking because he was going to do that. He just waited. I'm so passive that he can just wait for five seconds and then do his move. I'm not going to do anything in between. Move that you're supposed to sidewalk. Sidewalked it. He gets a giant launch. Well done, Namco. By making linear moves linear next game, that'd be sick. Nobody uses that just frame, so it's cool that he does. Nobody knows how to do that. He might be the first time somebody hits me with it ever online. Doesn't work, huh? Okay. I did the two jab that would have floated him. Yeah, this is unwinnable. I need to completely um, relearn Jack in a different way. The way I'm playing him is useless. Uh, pretty much. He's not terrible. I just don't know what to do. That was unwinnable. And if that's like if it's unwinnable against the Yaksa Noctis, then no point playing, right? Noctis top five, yeah, well, probably. It's not a 
Who's my TGP? Bob and uh, Katarina. Right now. I get Zafina up there soon and we'll have three. How close is Elisa to TGP? She's like Tekken King right now. I don't play her anymore. <clears throat> I think either Bob or Cat will make it. I think Katarina's dead for sure, but Bob has a chance. Keep uh, watching this uh, Oscar trailer. Okay, so when she hits with Demon Slayer, she does the point. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it makes it like empowers some moves. Guess I'll watch the Leroy trailer as well. And then I'll have to go wash my eyes because I don't want that shit on my eyes. Hey, thanks. Who's being generous? Hey, thanks a lot, Cyber8642, for subscribing. Starburst ability. Yeah, it looks like a Starburst ability, basically. Hey, look, it's a Brian. Do you guys want to make him uh, sad? Think Leroy will be busted? Probably, yeah. Oh, it's a three-bar Brian. He's doing orbitals. All right. It's a sick game, huh? Rebar Brian. Oh, the delay is crazy. Take my word for it, the delay is crazy. I, pre I tap up and she steps like a second later. Fight. Luckily, that doesn't matter if you're Brian. Be one bar your character plays the exact same. <laughs> He's gonna rage drive as soon as he gets a chance, right? Like right now? Oh, wow, okay. I gotta look at the number of bars before I accept matches now. This is uh, unplayable. See that? <laughs> you see that? That ender. It came out so late that the combo didn't work. Okay, yeah, orbital. That's good. That's that's good. Orbital. That's good move. After sidestep too. Yeah. Do a slash kick, please. Oh no. <laughs> Zafin has a good chance of showing up in the new game too. Maybe I'll play her. Hey, why come your uh, timing-based combo still work, but mine just fall apart? Are you sure this is a... Uh... Well, I guess it's improved a little bit, the connection speed. Maybe that's why. Hey, nice. Shouldn't be guaranteed. 
Yeah, well played. Still no sign of Miguel and Lei. Yeah, I know. It's sad. If I could pick, like, the next five characters to be released, obviously Miguel, Bob, Zafina, but apart from that, what are, what are like, characters that I don't mind showing up? Lei would be, um, uh, cool. Uh, my ping was higher than his. Hey, I don't know what that means, dude. All I can tell you is my connection always works, and then this guy shows up, okay? Take your nerd talk somewhere else. We're talking about character releases right now, okay? Um, and then, um... Roger or Alex would be cool. Uh, I like them. Either one is fine. Um, I mean, Elise is going to show up eventually. I'm not a huge fan of her anymore, but if Lars is in, she's probably in too, right? And Raven. Some version of Raven would be cool. I prefer Master Raven to regular Raven, but some sort of Raven would be good. Yeah, Horong is guaranteed. I mean, the next five characters are guaranteed. It's Yoshimitsu, it's uh, Horong, it's Brian, and Steve. I mean, those four are going to be like the next four. They kind of have to be. And then who else? Lee, Lily, yeah. Lily's guaranteed, yeah. Because Japanese people jerk off uh, to Oscar and Lily. They don't jerk off to just Oscar. They want to jerk off specifically to Oscar and Lily in an awkward situation, preferably at a school. <laughs> hey, you fell on my tits while you were having toast, and now I'm angry. And then it cu cuts to the next story, the next thing. That's the that's what happened. And then we zoom out. See you next time. Fight. Oh wow. How do you get launched by that? I must suck at this game. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Look some. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Good patience, dude. Well done. Is that safe but a high? Is that it? Yes, that's it. I guess it's safe but a high, so I just gotta duck it. He does it all the time. Yeah, he does it all the time. I just need to duck them. <gasps> you saw me get him with the up forward three, right? How did he go under up forward three? This is blasphemy. This is madness. Hey, what played Gon Ryu? Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. There's no Tekken without bears? Yeah, we might get bears. Claudio had a cliffhanger ending. Yeah, but his cliffhanger ending was like an afterthought. It's not written into the story. It doesn't make sense. His personality and motivation and his cliffhanger ending in the story is not the same as like him in... Uh, the main story. They like change the character to be something different all of a sudden. It's weird. Okay. Weird choice frame. Hey, weird choice frame. 
Nice whiff though. He loves that while standing launcher. I guess it is good. If it is safe and high, I'd probably use it all the time as well. Wow, he's just doing fast stuff now. Do a big low. Fun round. Pretty fun round. Oh, I just needed to nail the just frame. That would have been a really fun round. Oh, okay, whatever. It's not safe. How minus is it? Please say it's minus 13, which it won't be. It'll be 10 or 11 or 12. Zafina doesn't have anything for 10 or 11 or 12. Minus 13? Really? That'd be sick. Then I can do down for 1 for. Get up right there, dude. Okay. Yeah, I've been missing Zafina. Turns out uh, she's cool. Fight. Intentionally with a three right here. You get into stance and you can mix quicker. Okay. Weird choice. Probably unintentional. Chill with the wall carry, gone, Ryu. I oh, I killed. I hate that they nerfed this move so that it doesn't kill anymore. It was so much cooler before. That's like his favorite thing too. That string into uh, 1 plus 2. KO. Finally doing some winning this stream. That's good. Anima animations look sick. Yeah, Zafina does look very sick. Can you imagine her in with all this purple glow and how beautiful she's gonna look? I'm sounding like one of those customization mode players, but her trailer is gonna be sick. Because remember her Tekken 7 trailer? That was the best one. No contest. She looked so cool. And then the Tekken 6 music swells and she reveals the, her new hand magic. Yeah. Daphina's super sick. Fight. Oh, it's down back too. I'm going to use this more. Good patience. Okay, it's minus 13. Remember that.
Okay. Wow, okay. Thought it was going to be a whiff. Not a punish frame. Keep doing 2-2. Two, two. I've been playing too much Lars, that's it. I'm doing 2-2 uh, two, two instead of 1-2. Or 2-1 instead of 1-2. gonna lose or not or oh, oh no the time did you see that that's so crazy I was way better come on give me a round back I'm so upset I'm gonna win now I'm gonna win I'm so upset I'm gonna win I have to now sorry dude Just motivated the hell out of me, dude. Fight. Nice parry. Okay, he can still win this. Oh no. That's her new tactics move, by the way. Nobody knows that because nobody's ever used it. Good parry. Damn. Another good parry. But this time, it was me. Comeback, the three round comeback. Uxam. <sighs> yeah, I play on pad. I used to play on stick, but then I realized I think uh, stick is cringe, so I don't play on stick anymore because it's cringe. Uxam. Zafina, Bob, or Miguel. Three characters that may and may not show up, and all you have to do is give me one of them, and I'll be a happy camper for the next decade. You realize how much this matters? I mean, I know we have Mishima boys in the chat, and you don't have to worry. The Tekken 8 announcement was a picture of your main. And guess what? The Tekken 9 uh, announcement will be a picture of your main. Main character, main privilege. You guys are so privileged. I Miguel has like a 50-50 chance of being in. Bob has like a 50-50 chance. And so does Zafina. And if I get none of them, I'm sitting here playing Lars. Who's trashy, changing character. And that's all I have. Like my knee impression? I do. Katarina has a chance? No way, dude. No way. She's like the deadest character. If they do release her, that would be amazingly sick. But... I would say likelihood less than like less than 20%. Ancient Ogre? I don't know about Ogre, dude. I mean, Jun's back. If Jun's back, I think Ogre is going to be back too. Isn't the final boss supposed to be Kazuya now? But it's going to be Kazuya and Ogre.
Oh, I'm getting my ass kicked by a character that I just called trash. <clears throat> He's got a sidestep jackhammers. Basically my option now, right? Ah, he finished it! I thought he would do 2-1, make me hesitate and then do down back too. So uh, I did a uh, uh, low parry, which is why he hit me. Debugger. Ooh, that can happen. Stop making stuff up. No way. No way. I hate this. This is like fictional magic in my asshole. I can't handle this jackage, dude. A good choice. A good choice again. Can't believe I messed up that combo. Should have done a run in down forward one four. Would have worked better. Messed up the combo because I'm trashy. Tricked him. Tricked him with the second hit. Alright, we can do this. Fight. Ah! Fucking jackhammers, dude. Why can't I deal with them? They're so easy to deal with. Don't, don't debugger now, dude. It's not... No, no, oh no, I'm in the corner. Fuck this. I want to put the controller down. I'll try. I'll try. I'll do my best. I couldn't... Yeah. I was too uh, disappointed in my own tech and to uh, even uh, attempt to play that way. But I'm like that. And I'm very mentally touchable. Very mentally touchable. <laughs> I should just... Hey, it, there's, it's, the weather is nice today. Should I make a video of myself walking in the sunlight going mentally touchable? <laughs> I can't uh, do a video of me walking because then you guys will realize that I'm not tall and I won't have any subscribers anymore. Don't ever f block punish me, dude. Who do you think you are? Stop doing jackhammer. Yeah, okay. So because my 100% consistent combo fell apart because the game was made by monkeys and is held together with duct tape, um, he got a free win. Didn't even have to play Tekken. Hey, that's nice. Good game, Namco. Good game. Combo just breaks. Hey, that's good. Never seen that one before. I broke it. That's a 1 plus 2, right? Is it not a 1 plus 2? Have killed right there if I did the combo instead. KO. Round three. Fight. Ugh. 
Ah. Oh. Ah. Guaranteed 4 2. I'm getting lucky, this guy's outplaying me. Round four. Fight. For now. I'm gonna go outside and do the worm. <laughs> gonna do that. I'm gonna do a Zafina crawl in the sunlight. <laughs> and it's just me going mentally touchable. <laughs> That's gonna be my new channel promo, you guys. No, don't be that guy, don't rage shard. Yes. He messed up an imp right there. Oh wow, the mix. Big combo. Yeah. He was gonna do the jackhammer, then he just stopped and didn't, and he got the jackhammer. Because I tried to interrupt a Jack hammer. Welcome to the life of uh, playing against Jack. Oh my god, can the wall stop messing up every combo I try and do? Forget about it. Fight. Didn't happen. Can't hit him now. Can't hit him now. He's dashing forwards. I hate myself. Come on, just kill him. Just kill him. Just please get launched right now. I thank you. Whew. Mentally touchable. That's pretty good. No way, so that's a little flow charty setup thing that Jax can panic into when they don't know how to play the game and it just works. Hey, good for you. Nice free launch they didn't earn. Play the game, dude. <laughs> gonna try it again? That's insulting. Still breaking that every time he attempts it. You know, the launching throw that he shouldn't have. Still breaking that perfectly every time he attempts it. But, you know, whatever. It's just a bad game. <clears throat> Fight. 
It's a great game. I love Tekken. Everything works perfectly. Hey, good timing. Good timing on the Miguel laugh. Hey, uh, pal Dominic, thank you so much, man. Wow, I've gotten so many new subs this stream, it's crazy. Hey, uh, Guadong, thank you so much for uh, stopping by. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. They don't make fun of LKMA, okay? He has a jury a PFP, but that's no reason to make fun of him. It's not like he's a hentai foot fetishist with bad jokes. <laughs> hey, what's up, LKMA? Check out this promo I'm about to get because I'm sick. crush Good block Pretty great. Ooh! That was the sickness and the health, and you guys better hold me in both. <laughs> hey, good games, Jack guy. I'm a scrub man, how dare you? Did you see that round? Call that a scrap round. What time is it? Babe, when do you finish work? Two o'clock? Let's watch. I'm watching the uh, Leroy trailer now. I'm gonna give you guys my impressions and my uh, analysis. You guys better make some noise. All right. His glasses look cool. He's got cool glasses. Hiroi Smith. Okay, so he still has uh, Hermit Stance. Still has the uh, Can Cans from Hermit Stance. Still has the Parry. Still has the Hell Sweep. And they show him hitting with the Hell Sweep as she's stepping, right? As she's walking. So they're showing that it's still a homie Hell Sweep. It's like the. Namco are. S Namco are. Bitches, dude. That's so funny. Not only are they showing Leroy at Evo Japan, they're showing his hell sweep and they're showing it homing. They're showing it hitting a sidewalking character. <laughs> you don't like Leroy's homing hell sweep? 
And guess what? Here it is. It's back, dude. Ten more years. Ten more years, Rick and Morty. Is that a full crouch knockdown cane move? Okay, it's not knockdown. Is that a low though? It looks like this cane move is low, mid, and it launches! What? Okay, I'm gonna have to like break this down nice and calm later because that looks like a giant full screen hitting low. That's a normal hit launcher. Hope I'm wrong. Oh no, can't believe I got hit by that. He can kill, he's Marduk. And the unparryable low. Best low ending, uh, low, uh, round ending low in the game. Why is it unparryable? It's definitely not a knee attack. You can tell it's not. Hey, good shit. He blocked and punished properly. Like a Marduk at Emperor level, because if, um, if you're a Marduk player, you're boosted by about 25 ranks. So I think an Emperor uh, level Marduk is, if, if we're talking real characters, their level is about first done or something. I'm very surprised he knows about that. Hey, nice. Yeah, for a first Dan level player, this guy's pretty good. Full T bag too. Got that down. Definitely a Marduk player. Definitely a Marduk player. Gimmicks win buttons cancer into T bag. Block. You better win this now, you've been teabagging like crazy, dude. It's gonna be way too embarrassing if you don't. You better win this, just saying. You better win this, dude. You're gonna... you better walk the walk, you know what I mean? Good punish. Good. <clears throat> That's good. That would have been uh, way too embarrassing for the both of us if you didn't collect that. With the game's most cancerously uh, poorly designed uh, gimmick, by the way. Marduk's Tackle. This Leroy low m better not be real, dude. I mean, even if it's a one-time thing, he can only use the cane once in this game as well. It looks like he's hitting with a low. That's homing. Fills the entire screen. And then it's got a mid extension that normal hit launches. It's not a small combo he's doing either. Holy shit, Leroy. It was finish. Yeah, well, that makes sense. That's like my. I'm sorry. I mean, I know I'm wrong, but my image of Finland and Finnish Tekken players are like five angry dudes around a campfire. Uh, Four of them are uh, ship posting about main man on uh, uh, Discord, and one is playing a broken character and teabagging. New challenger. And then they go and listen to their favorite death metal. <laughs> Probably accurate, yeah. I'm so angry about all the snow. <laughs> Let me shit post about main man. 
I gotta, we gotta find out if this is true. I'm gonna send a spy to Finnish Tech in Reddit uh, or Red Discord at some point. I heard somebody went to Finnish Tech in Discord and searched for the words uh, main man, and there were like 34,000 uh, messages about him in the Finnish Discord. And Finland has a population of like six people, so they're all in there. They're all in there, shit posting about main man. Not shit posting. That's a completely different thing. They're just upset about main man. Why does he get all the views? I'm playing Marduk too. Hey, good uh, blocks. Starting to look very software based here, uh, blocking dude. Could be wrong though. Oh, very balanced range. Very balanced range on the down forward one. Did you see the range on his down forward one? <laughs> they buffed that. It used to be normal. Before they made it uh, what it is right now. They're like, Marduk needs whiff punishment. It's not like he has like everything else, you know, in spades. Nah, no, still gets a combo even if you whiff. That's uh, cute. I do it again. Do it again. Round three. Fight. Yeah. Just conjures the image of a country and a Tekken community where nobody's ever had fun and everybody's just constantly angry and has a very small dick. Again, I'm probably wrong. Didn't break it. You guys want to watch a shitty movie? Great. There you go. Advanced Marduk teabagging. Yeah, I know. Single most boosted character you can play. Free TGO with your eyes closed. Particular team and Koskin Korva. There you go. Yeah, that's uh that's the Finnish uh, dictionary right there. Those are the three words they have. There, well, there's four. There's Moomin, Main Man, Koskin Korva, and uh, Particular. Hey, look, it's not a Marduk. This is going to be playable. That's cool. I'll play this guy. I remember his uh, color. Oh wow, frame's trash, okay. Hmm. 
Oh, I can win this. Uxam. You win. Uxam. <laughs> I'm gonna make this uh, match the next one, so we better win it. Frame always respects everyone. Yeah, I actually do. It just doesn't sound like that when I uh, talk about them, you know. <laughs> Being a Tekken player is hard, dude. All these people are suffering. They're wasting their lives on something painful that gives them nothing back. And whenever they do well, it's because they picked an overpowered character and they have to be criticized for that. I have nothing but sympathy for Tekken players. The next match will be the next one. Damn, it's like a really strong player on an unbeatable character, Dragonov. That's interesting. People say he's bad now. Meanwhile, running too. <laughs> and down too. And nothing else, if you're playing him right. Oh, and that thing. Safe hop kick. Oh, that's a very, very strange choice. Why would you do that? I don't get it. Alright. <clears throat> Sick round. Well played by me and by him. Mainly me, though. Run in the streak. by the second that's embarrassing i had no reason to lose this round and now i've given it away yeah, okay so he's partying a little bit that's fine <clears throat> i mean it worked i guess that's legitimate good launch shouldn't have tried it dumbest study i've ever had away from the wall hey come on that was a launch that was a launch that was a launch fuck that with recovery shove it up your ass that was a launch
Oh, what a whiff. Oh, it shouldn't be guaranteed. Oh, it shouldn't exist. never gonna work waste of fucking time dragon off can't be beaten anyway hey well played uh guy <laughs> good shit getting lucky i hated that i fucking hate your character that was well played though but i fucking hate that character no mids literally unbeatable running two down two there's no counterplay in the game <sighs> oh, now i have to play one more because i don't want that I want that to be the final one because i'm gonna taste um shitty overpowered running two dick in the back of my throat for the rest of the day well played though to parry that low as well i have to stop thinking about it this is like the denial phase when i just want to go back and fucking sodomize that dragon off but i can't i just gotta accept it one of the many um tribulations of being a tekken player especially when tekken is a shitty game that doesn't fucking work nerf dragon off rip grandma Hey, that's what I get. Sitting here being salty, complaining too much, and the universe sends me presumably an unironic Kunimitsu. That's poetic justice, dude. Hey, you thought you played the most cancerous characters in the game? You're tired of playing as Marduk and Dragunov? Hey, check this shit out. She doesn't have a flaw, and she's already teleporting. I can't believe we've played this game for like eight years and Kunimitsu's in it and people have still like played it. <laughs> uh. hey, good shit teleporting into completely safe uh, win button kill switches with no counterplay while having the best jab string in the game and uh, overpowered projectiles. And with punishment. Yeah, of course. That hitbox is larger than the, in the entire stage. And it's mid, probably safe too. Oh, I got a punish, I got a wild standing for you guys. Character's flawed. <sighs> Buff Cooney. I got a wild standing four. Buff Cooney. Can't go into stance. She ass fucks all my stances for free, so it's no point. But what do I do? Plug? Probably the play. You shouldn't get penalized for plugging on Kuni. Somebody should just send you cake. Overpowered and the damage too! Come on, you have to get rid of the stands, Namco. I know you've given up on fixing this trash ass game you made a decade ago because you're making something else that's probably gonna be worse right now. Free electrics. But that stands, if it's in this game, the 10 fucking years that we've spent playing this game have been in vain and we've all wasted our time. 
If that stance is in this game, this is all dog shit. And Tekken 7 never existed in the first place. It's a fucking illusion and a wisp of smoke. It's not a game. If Kunimitsu's in this game, it doesn't exist. All you have to do is to go into your little thing and press one button and get rid of this dumb stack of cancer and you've fixed like a billion problems. People will be like running in the streets naked hugging. Because you've solved half the world's issues just by deleting this stack of cancerous shit. And then just find anybody who purchased her, perma-ban them from the next game. Problem fucking solved. You played Marduk or you played um, Kunimitsu, perma-ban from the next game. Oh, and if you ever played um, like uh, Feng after Ni won the tournament with him, influenced Feng, perma-ban in the next game. And we will have a sick community of actual players who we'll give a fuck. Instead of teleporting around with safe win buttons on a little uh, jailbait uh, piece of shit, um, Cooney. <laughs> when the rant runs out of steam. <laughs> I have to get back to the match, okay? As a character, that's arguably even better than Cooney, so there you go. You can step that, right? That's what you have to do. Yeah, see below launcher for death combo, right? He's gonna be one of those dudes who runs out the clock as well. God, end of the stream, it got really fucking boring, huh? There you go, just take the round. I'll beat you in the next one, dude. Time up. All right. <clears throat> Fight. I'm focusing. Name an unsafe Jin move. Name a Jin move that isn't a safe launcher. Hey, nice walk. Nice walk. Way too upset to try. Obviously way too upset to even try. Got enough damage there? Nah, triple it. It's Jin. Just triple the damage. But the range of that low. I mean, everything. The pushback on that thing. The fact that that thing's safe. That cancel. That move. There's not a single thing that that's fair. I don't understand why people think balance in this game works. I'm playing like shit though. I'm not saying I'm not, but you know. Oh, he's he's stalling again. Entire Finnish community heard me. That's nah, fine. All six of them. I just want to get one decent match against a character that's above absolute fucking game ruiningly mega top tier. And then uh, we can end the stream. That Jin didn't come to play. He was really good. He was really good. The way he turtled up at the end. And uh, just waited. 
That works. It's when very good players play unbeatable characters that the game becomes really unplayable. Do I like Devil Jin? No. I basically play the three characters I like, I guess. Man, I hope balance is good in eight. I mean, heat, if the balance is good, it, all the rest, like, doesn't matter. Round one. It's the only, the only aspect or feature of the game that has any significance as far as I'm concerned. And it's, I don't think people think about that stuff anymore because they just play top tiers, you know? I mean, Zafina isn't bad, so I can't... You know. Homing uh, electric right there. That's nice. Wow, big damage. KO. Round two. Fight. Oh, he knows about the duck. Hey, that's cool for an emperor. Wow, it's gonna be. Does this break? No. <clears throat> if you could have done some sort of break there and kill me downstairs, that would have been a super sick round. Fight. Hey, Hachi hop kicks. No punch on the flash punch, sorry. Losing to emperors now, by the way. Fight. I thought I was going to do back one plus two. Ryan will be OP in Tekken 8. Yeah, that's for sure. No question about that. He's in and he's OP. 
What if they released like Brian and he's super shitty, like the worst character in the game? Wouldn't that be sick? Hey, what's up, uh, KaiZ92? I'm actually about to end the stream. I just want like one good game and some points first. I've been looking for one. It's not easy. Everybody's playing like Marduk and stuff. Hey, IMOP has released one of those comparisons of like old Oscar and new Oscar. It's cool how he can like go in and, and show stuff in the game. I don't think he's doing this with like gameplay. I think he actually like can uh, edit, you know, he has like a game editor. Yeah, there's like a version of that jumping punch thing she has now that doesn't have all the soup. And then there's one that has hella soup, and I think it has soup because she's done the point thing. So I think the point thing is literally Starburst. Alright, we're playing bears. What a whiff. Worst whiff ever. Did you see that? Oh god. What a round. What a round. And that was an easy low parry too. Round two. What a round. Holy fight. Run into the stands too. Ten frame counter move. That's Tekken 8 Lars right there. back to best low ever the fucking fantastic low that bears have right there <laughs> yeah exactly in the cancel good dog Bear privilege, can't do combos on them still. Yeah, guaranteed stuff, right? Oh, come on, man. Grow up. <laughs> These are like the worst series of matches I've ever had. I'm enjoying it, though. Let's play this guy a little bit more than in the stream, okay? I'm doing the Ash Ketchum right now. He said Devil Jin is bottom five now. All right. I guess it's true then. Better tattoo it on our dicks and, uh, you know, be influenced things.
Okay. Well played. <clears throat> this guy's good. I mean, he's mainly doing a lot of big lows, and then he just mixes the mid the next time, and I get hit by it because I'm tired. Okay, that's uh, guaranteed, apparently, if you get up right there. Didn't know that. He did, though. I'm sorry for the Tekken right now. This is the like one of the worst uh, performance-wise sessions I've ever had, but still one of the most fun streams I've ever done. Hella generosity, making fun of Mishima players. I'll take it over winning any day. Let's switch characters. I want to end on like a good positive note, you know, which means we gotta win. Unfortunately, Lars is trash. We can't win with him. We can try. Let's try and win with Lars. Let's get like a promo with Lars. Hatch should kick Heat Engager. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. So Lars has a um, couple of Heat Engagers. This, which won't work because it's never worked. I don't think people will use it. This, which won't work because it currently doesn't work. Unless, like, I mean, if you're mixing successfully with this stance, I guess, if they guess wrong. But hmm. um, what else did he have? Oh, and then he has this. But they've changed the input to 3 plus 4. So it doesn't come out of a dash anymore, which means that it will probably be kind of good. And then he has Delta Slicer. And those are all of his uh, heat engagers. So three are useless. Um, two are potentially good. Oh, Ford 3 3. Yeah, exactly. That's the other move. Uh, they made a heating gauge that doesn't work. I mean, have you ever gotten hit by that move? I guess I haven't even used it. Maybe I should try it. You guys want to try it? It's plus on block, but it's linear and it's like the slowest move in the game. Hey, go follow Lorenzo DeBenzo on um, Twitch. What was the other guy? Unsweet Dream? Was he a streamer too? Oh wow, it ducked. I thought it was down for it for um, 1 plus 2. Gonna duck that. Oh, what a duck, nice. That's the move, right? Gonna do that too. I couldn't react to it in time. 
which means that it's time to stop playing. What a whiff. Oh my god, that's terrible. Terrible. Maybe this is pretty good. It's fun to use, at least. Fun to use. Get ready for the Dynamic entry one two, yeah, but it doesn't I don't think that's gonna work. I think it's too slow. <clears throat> I think uh, Savage One Two is gonna be too or uh, <laughs> Dynamic One Two is gonna be too slow. I think Savage. I mean, if people are gonna eat the mix up, maybe. But I don't know. Fight. Why would they? It's too slow and linear. You can move out of the way. That's insanity that that could happen right there. That's insanity that could happen right there. Why isn't back one working anymore? He gets down for it who doesn't even have that much range. It's like a low range launcher. Known for being a high range launcher. Have a low! Please have one low, Lars. In the next game, please have a low. Nicely done, dude. All of Lars's lows are seeable pieces of shit that get launch punished. Well done, though. I wouldn't have seen it. Definitely not right now. Oh, 
Should have ducked. Wrong move. Still got it though, barely. Fight. Oh, good duck. Screw this. I quit the franchise, guys. I've lost the ability to play. It's obvious. It's obvious I've lost the ability to play. Next match is the final match, no matter what happens, okay? <clears throat> well played, guy. I hate the fact that you ducked that. I feel like I don't have any moves. But I feel like uh, I felt like that with um, every character I've played today, which means that uh, it's not a problem with the characters. It's a problem with me. Underperforming. It's okay. Just, uh, you know, reevaluate, come back, do better next time. This jab string is pathetic, by the way. It's pathetic. Lars is 10 frames. Wow, what a whiff. What was I thinking? Another huge, giant, completely pointless whiff. Tracks to that side, huh? Okay. Cameraman shenanigans. Never let anything work for Lars. Never let anything work for him. Just shenanigans. See that? I think he has good combos, but they kind of just don't work and are inconsistent, I guess. This move's good, though. This is like the good Lars move. It's really good. Nice whiff. Pro giant launchers get on. How does he do that every time? Oh, because Lars is trash and the lows are seeable, right? Ah, oh, I'm so mentally touchable right now. All right, final round of the day. Let's go. Be good for like one second frame. You've done it before, like twice.
You gonna kill? I have no time. Alright, yeah, I was easily the worst Tekken I've played in my entire life, but well played to Lorenzo. Go check him out on uh, Twitch. Hey, thank you so much. Let's thank everybody who's been generous today. What a crazy good stream. We had um, Trepsco Miscellaneous Cam donated a bunch of money. New subscribers, Naki Tibbs, Jin, God Hands, and then Trepsco gifting the five subs. First time I've ever gotten gifted subs. Amazing. Justin Clark, giant donation. Making fun of Leroy, good shit. And then like a bunch of subscribers, Cyber8642, Greenbeam, and Paul Dominic becoming a channel member. Damn, what a crazy stream. Love doing this with you guys, I really do. Hopefully I play a little bit better next time. But you know, it's easy to sit around and talk about this character's uh, overpowered and this character's cancer. I'm right about all of them, but you know, it's about you and the reason is you. And at the end of the day, you still have to own it. Even if the balance is bad, you still have to own it. And you have to stay strong. And you have to, like, try and, you know, do different things. It's funnier when I lose. Yeah, I know. But we need both. Because if I never win, then, you know, why would you watch at all? <laughs> My audio mixing sucks. Hey, sorry about that. They said it was okay at the beginning of the stream. I guess they were wrong. Blame my blame my chat. It's their fault. All right. Thank you so much, guys. See you in the next one. Hey, I was gonna come up with some heat system. You know the heat gimmicks that the characters have, like um, uh, Lars gets a new silent entry transition and stuff. I was coming up with a couple of other ones for different characters that haven't uh, um, come out yet. So, for example. With Brian, when you're in heat, um, taunt jet upper happens automatically and kills if you pull your um, ethernet cable while crying. <laughs> That's what heat is going to do for Brian. For Lily, it's going to uh, um, power up kicking attacks while barefoot. You know how uh, Kaz's muscles go, you know, it's going to be that, but she gets her shoes fly off. They're a little bit sweaty and vinegary, and everybody's happy. Steve, probably the Shiro combo, becomes a cinematic. You just have to hit with the launcher, and then it just happens. No execution with uh, Steve anyway. That'd be sick. Yeah. It's fun to come up with those. What else? What's Bob's uh, gimmick gonna be? Is he gonna be able to like replenish health by eating? Maybe he transforms into Slim Bob while... No, he's Slim Bob in the beginning. And then he goes into heat and he activates Big Bob and he becomes fat and powerful. And then he goes back. That'd be really cool. Doesn't make sense in the lore, but you know, if Kazuya can turn into a devil. Automatic Acid Rain, yeah. You no longer have to do back two. The moment you launch, it, the combo just deals 80 damage and teleports you to the wall. <laughs> hey, I loved uh, the stream, you guys. Thank you so much for all the generosity. I'm going to go have a fantastic day. You guys uh, should do the same. And then we'll rendezvous back here. Laugh at this shitty game some more next time. Shout out to the finish scene, by the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs>